Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to upgrade to latest Windows 11 version, the clean way, using the official ISO and a simple PowerShell command. This method skips most of the bugs that happen with Windows update. And it even works if your PC keeps rolling back with the undoing changes made to your computer error. So let's get started. First, download the latest official Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft official website. Once it's downloaded, just right click on ISO file and click on mount or just double click on it. Windows will mount it as a virtual DVD drive. You will see it show up with a new drive letter like D, E or F. Next, open the PowerShell as administrator. This is important because upgrade process need full permissions. First, if you want to test whether your system can upgrade before committing, you can run this command. Type start hyphen process space hyphen file path space start inverted comma your virtual DVD drive letter colon backslash setup.exe close the inverted comma space hyphen argument list space start inverted comma for slash compact space scan only inverted comma close space hyphen wait space hyphen far space run as and press enter this will only scan for compatibility issues and give you a report this is super useful if you are not sure whether your drivers or apps will block the upgrade However, now here's the main trick. Navigate to the mounted ISO drive and then run this command. Start hyphen process space hyphen file path space start inverted comma your virtual DVD drive letter colon backslash setup.exe inverted comma close space hyphen argument list space start inverted comma for slash auto space upgrade space for slash quite space for slash nor boot space for slash dynamic update space enable close inverted comma space hyphen wait space hyphen verb space run as and press enter. Now let me tell you how it's work. Auto upgrade tells Windows to do an in-place upgrade automatically. Quite run set without all prompts. Nor boot prevent set from restarting until you say. Dynamic update enable lets it put the latest drivers and fixes during setup. Once you hit enter, Windows setup process will start in the background. You can monitor progress in task manager or event viewer. But usually you just wait for it to reach reboot stage. When it's ready, restart your computer and upgrade should now continue without rolling back. And that's it. Using the ISO Plus PowerShell gives you more control and avoids a lot of the errors people running into with Windows update. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.